Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I have started to hear a lot of people try and tell me things about breeding, mutations, and arc, and all of this shenanigans and they have been just saying blatantly wrong things. I know I've made a video, video about this in the past, but I've learned quite a bit since then in regards to how to breed what you see behind me. Super dinos, really awesome colors, really awesome stats, how to get this, what's the best way to do it? So. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually a lot easier than a lot of people want it to be. Um, I, I don't know why people are afraid to do breeding because it's just, you know, it's really easy. You just have to know how to do it. So yes, these are above level, all that stuff, but I just wanted some cool stuff and to show you like, you know, some of these stats. The reason that there is a level cap is because it just gets insane. Just to show you. Yeah, that's a bit high, huh? Just a bit. Um, so anyways, these, uh, these dinos right here, the colors are actually shockingly easy to get the stats. Uh, we'll figure out how to do all that. And let's go ahead and show you step by step. And I'm going to do you showing you how to do this at least with the dodos. Now there are lots of dodos over here. They're all set up in certain groups. And let me kind of talk to you about why, how all this stuff, this is not going to be a fast video. If you're looking for a fast video, this is not it. Breeding an arc is not something that you can do quickly. So it takes a while to describe. However, by the time this video is over, you will be a master and you will know how to do it the most effective and efficient ways mathematically. So who better to teach than a teacher, huh? All right, so let's get started. The first thing, every single dodo you see right here is a combination of variables and numbers, which are basically the same thing. But each one of them has a total of number of stats and that's just a fact. So these are my super high level ones. You can see they have health one stamina two oxygen three food four weight five melee six movement speed seven different stats now dodos are unlike some creatures because other creatures do have their numbers blocked for example a diplodocus does not have an attack speed um, flyers do not have a movement speed so they have only a limited number of stats whereas dodos have all seven stats so there's seven different stat possibilities that you can have a mutation in now each one of those stats represents something good now as you can see these are my uh, males over here these are all a combination of level one males and this is where the biggest mistake people make is they get attached to their dinos and they basically say, oh, I must keep them at all costs. Now, a level one male, any male in general that is not your highest stat male is useless. So either turn it into something that you neuter simply by going over to it and hitting neuter. And it takes a second to actually happen. And then the dodo regrets itself. Yeah, he's very unhappy. But you'll notice zero, 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 zero. I spawn them in at level zero for a reason. So this is not our highest. So the real thing you should be doing with them is this right here. And there is no better thing to do than just make them go away. So that's that. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these guys before I do anything too stupid with them and make a mistake. And you could send them at somebody's bases at a turret wall. You can put them on aggressive and send them in the wild. I don't care. Don't use them. It's just going to mess you up. You want to have a specific breeder male with your best stats and then females, dodos, with zero mutations at all. Now this is one way to breed. There are lots of different ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you the best way first and then I'll kind of go the other ways showing you what happens. All right, so one way, two way, and three ways is what I'm gonna show you. These are the three most common ways that people breed their dinosaurs in arc one is a, what they call the alpha male or the stat male with the zero zero females. I'll show you that in a second. The next way is just the starting process. Basically you have a male and a female and you breed them over and over and over and over again until you get lucky with the mutation. And then there's the alpha breeding. Now alpha breeding is a little bit different. And basically what it does is you take your stats and try and make them better by using the same stats across the board. And I'll show you that in a second as well. I know this sounds confusing, but it all makes sense. Just stay with me here and we'll kind of walk through step by step. So before we get started, we go to the dino and you can see we've got seven stats. And if I show you the ancestors, this is a wild one. So it doesn't have any stats on the stat line. However, what's going to happen is I'm going to really quickly show you, leave him there, what happens if you put two things on breeding, behavior, enable mating, behavior, enable mating, they will eventually poop out an egg. And when they do poop out said egg, please, please, please have your egg. There it goes. 
So it is mating now. Oh, it was temporarily mating. Now it's not. So what we're waiting for is an egg to crap out because when you do see the egg for the very first time, uh, what you're going to notice is that these dinos uh, will have a mutation counter on both sides of them, the left and the right side. And because they have a counter on both the left and the right side, and this could get crazy real fast if I'm not paying attention. Please breed. Please breed. There they go. They just had to be really close together. So you'll notice that they're breeding now. Now, <clears throat> this is obviously how you get the egg, but when the egg pops out, it's going to hatch really quickly. So I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. And I think it might be because these dinos are too high up. Now, I had them up in the air because I wanted to place them up there, but oh well, there are worse things. Um, we'll pop a couple down for right now. There. That should work. Okay. So, their little hearts go above them. They have to get to 100%. Once they get to 100%, they will have an egg. Now, let's talk about some of the other things you need to know. Mutation counters occur on both the parent's side. So, the father and the mother will both have a mutation counter. There's called the paternal, the father, and the maternal, mother's mutation side. And each of those stats will count up to 20. This is a very important thing that you must listen to. It's like the first like key stat. If you hit 20 mutations on either side, that side will no longer be capable of having a mutation. Let's be clear on that. Once you hit 20, you no longer have the ability to have a mutation from that side. So that's why it gets difficult once you get to 20 mutations on your best dinos. You have to kind of be careful of how you breed them. So the next thing, it does not matter where well, I've heard this before. Mother and father side do not matter. As long as you have less than 20 mutations, you have an ability to have a mutation on either side. Now that's a key word because... Uh, let me just hatch this egg first and then I'll explain that next part to you. But basically mutations are based upon a stat roll. Now when I mean stat roll, you have all of your different things and you have your different seven stats that go into each dinosaur. Those are selected first and foremost. Once you have those, you will be able to, and this egg is probably going to hatch like instantaneously. There we go. So let's drop this bad boy down. You see there's the baby dodo. And it's basically grown up already. So it is level five. Now, where is it going? Behavior, disable wandering. Okay. So this is our first baby of them over there, which is important to know. Uh, wait for these two to hatch their eggs first. Come on, pop your eggs out, please. There we go. Behavior, disable mating. Claim Dodo. Claim Dodo. Thank you behavior oh man this is this is chaos this is chaos there we go behavior disable wondering okay so basically i have everything super 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 cranked up so that way i can get my eggs as quick as possible and get everything dealt with that way so you'll notice that these two things that i hashed right here have two different level sets even though both mothers were a level one and the father was a level 15. that's important to note and the same thing with this guy over here uh, this one is level one. This one's a level one. So how is it that they had a level five baby? And this happens to be absolutely perfect because we got our first mutation. So let's look at their stats. Okay. Now the easiest thing to do is to, if you have some sort of binoculars or something like that, look at the stats this way. If not, you can actually have HL and read stats off for you, but you know, that's to your, if you're on Genesis. So if I look at these stats right here, and if you're not using Dodo Dex, use that because that's what you're going to have to use on official. They're all zeros. Zero points into any single stat, which means they are not very good because they're level one. Every single level you go up, you get an extra point that goes into a stat. Well, level one obviously means that there can't be a single point in any stat, just like you see here. So they are crap. However, the baby that just rolled off of them is a level five, which means that it has rolled a mutation. Notice how the mother and the, I guess this is the father, zero, 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 mother, zero, 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 zero. And this is the baby. So this thing rolled a four point health mutation. Now, the reason that that's important to know, when you roll a mutation, the stats are not the same. So it's a female 
Its stats are different than both of its parents because it's rolled a four point health mutation, which is a double mutation actually, very uncommon. And you'll see there was a random mutation from the maternal side and the paternal side, and the parents are right there. Now what this means, I can have up to 20 mutations on this side and 20 mutations on this side. Once I pass 20 mutation on one of these sides, that side can no longer contribute to the mutation line. It is not possible, impossible, not, not doable, blah, 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 whatever you want to say. You cannot have any form of mutation after you've passed 20. Now, can you have a mutation on that dino? Yes, you can, because the other side, let's say this one is above 20 and this one is beneath 20. This one can contribute a mutation to either side because how it works is ARC is a program, okay? When they breed, these two dinos breed right here, they are going to produce a baby. That's a fact. It rolls the stats first and then it rolls for a mutation. They call it a roll because basically when it combines the stats, the computer says it chooses numbers from both parents, gives the baby those stats, and then it rolls to see if there's going to be a mutation afterwards if there are less than 20 mutations on either side. Now that's important to note. I'm going to go ahead and leave these down here because we have two females and a male over here. So we're going to go ahead and say she's ready to mate and we're going to put her on mating and then I'll kind of explain a few more things while they continue to mating. So all three of these are mating right now. Now again, we have our highest male available. Not We're not counting these over there. Our highest male available plus the two females that we have. Now with females, you wanna have the fewest mutations, but because we do not have any others, it's okay to only have one with one or two mutations, not a big deal. You can technically have up to 20 and still get a mutation, but that's a major, major, major risk and you don't wanna do that. So with mutations, let's talk about them a little bit more. Notice how there's a color shift with the mutation. So what's going to happen every single time you get a mutation is you are going to get a color shift in some, some way, shape or form. It does not matter, but the natural parent colors will be lost and a mutation will be added. You'll notice that this one happened on the beak and it got a blue beak mutation. Now, all that means is that you've got some sort of mutation. So it's easy if you have binoculars or something to be able to check. You see, ooh, I got a mutation in health, which is awesome. So we haven't even gotten into keying in on health. Hopefully you guys are staying with me so far. I know this is a lot, but by the end of this, I promise you will understand everything about breeding. So right here, you have the one that has the four health and the zero health. Of these two, there's a 55% chance that it's going to roll the mother's health over the father's health because the literally the program that is written in ARC allows you to blend every single stat that both parents have. And there's a 55% chance that it rolls the higher stat and a 45% chance that it picks the lower stat. So of the seven things available, there is a very low chance you roll all seven of the highest, but it's possible. So you really want to key in on one stat for this one. Health happens to be perfect. So there's a 55% chance we get the health on this guy. And then there's a 45% chance we get the father's health. And on perfect timing, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. Uh, let's get the egg. And I'll just leave them on breeding because, you know, why not? 16 seconds till she's ready again. So we're going to go ahead and toss these eggs down. And notice how we have a level one dino here. Behavior, disable wandering, behavior, disable, wa disable wandering too. There we go. So we have two babies right here. Both are level one. Notice how this one kept the beak. Let's go ahead and look at it. It got zero points in the health. So this got the worst stats, but it kept the blue coloring. So now let's, if we look at its mutation counter, we'll go ahead and show you this maternal side so it kept the maternal stats as two random mutations from the both parents combined and it allows us to see that it is not something we want to keep because it not only does it have mutations but it also has bad stats so again it's a male if you get a male that is not better than your breeder dino this is what you do with it bye bye so this is a female now it is a level one, so I can guarantee you right now there are no rolls in it, but it's a zero, 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 zero across the board. We're gonna go ahead and throw it down into, add it to our breeding list over here, enable mating. 
Now, I know this is starting to get a little bit confusing because everything's starting to stack up, so let's slow down for a second and kind of review what we've gone over so far. So, we have breeders, we have a male breeder, and we have female breeders nearby. We have mutations already, which is very, un rare, very rare to get two mutations. We got a double mutation and got four points into health. Every mutation you get, your numbers are going to go up two in one category. So this happened to be a double health mutation, which is like a 0.006%. So it's super low, but we got lucky. I don't know how to say it better than that. So we've gone over this. We have a male, we have females. If you end up getting a male when you are breeding that is not higher than your current male, it goes away. Kiss it goodbye. Don't even worry about it. If you get a female that does not have more than 20 uh, points into her mutations, put her in your breeding line because you're just going to maximize the number of eggs you can get. As you can see, this goes really fast. So that's what we're looking for right now. So we've got two more eggs. Let's go ahead and pop them down. And see if we get lucky with another mutation. I doubt it. We got very lucky first roll. We got twins. But again, we did not get a mutation, so that's unfortunate. And here comes the chaos side. Disable wandering. Behavior disable wandering. Is this one the walker? That's the walker. Behavior disable wandering. Okay. <clears throat> so, we got ourselves access to three more dodos. Let's check their stats real quick before we do anything with them. Now what I want you to notice, one got the mutation for sure, um, the parent mutation, because it's a level higher, level five versus level one. And we're gonna notice four points in the health and the blue nose means that it rolled the mother's stats. So that's a good thing, we wanted that. That's a very, very good thing. Um, we are gonna go ahead and look at its maternal side and notice two mutations because it picked up both of the mutations plus what we wanted to look for so we're gonna go ahead and put this one into our line of breeders. We're gonna enable mating on it. And then these two, we have two more females increasing our total ability to breed. We're not gonna put them in the line to add too much confusion yet. We are just going to put them to the side. So as you can see, this gets pretty crazy pretty fast um, if you're moving pretty quickly. So hopefully you're understanding that mutations are very rare because I've bred a couple of times. You're looking at approximately a 3% chance for a mutation per side. So I got really lucky to have one on the very first try, but every time you do it, you get a chance again. As long as you have less than 20 mutations on either the paternal or maternal side, you have a chance technically. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and claim these dodos, behavior, disabled wandering another female, another male. Remember, they are level one, so we do not care about them. And then remember the rule, the male is not better than our breeder male, it's gone. So this is the method basically where you're trying to create a new breeder male every single time and just have a bunch of breeder females that allow you to increase the number of eggs you have. The more females you have capable to breed with, the more eggs you can produce because they do have a countdown timer. So keep that in mind. All right, so we've got a fertilized egg. We've got another fertilized egg, and this guy is still on breeding, so we're good. We still have yet to get a better male, which is what we're looking for. So for this method, uh, looks like we just got a couple more crappy, it does not matter anymore, females or level one. So at this point, I don't even care anymore. I'm looking for a good leveled male, and bye. Okay, so does not matter at this point for me because at this point we are just trying to replace our male that is the breeder male with a new male that is the level five which is the higher one we have yet to get that so we want the mutations for our male because it will increase the ability to produce more offspring now the reason that is and you don't want it on a female females can only lay one egg give or take a day now a male can breed with every single female we have so it increases the chance that you get better stats so that's why we're trying to aim for it on the male instead. All right, so we're gonna keep going down this list. We have two more eggs. Let's see if we get lucky. And we did get a level five. It is another female, behavior, disabled wandering. I don't even care, it's a lower level male. We know what to do with it. Level five, behavior. Now we're gonna check just to see because sometimes you do get a mutation that you don't expect. Nope, this is the health mutation. So we're gonna go ahead and add it into our breeders list. 
at this point we have one two three four five females that are ready to breed which is a good thing it increases the number of eggs we can pump out all right so let's kind of review a little bit here we have the male we have the females we're trying to increase the number of eggs that we have so we can end up with a new breeder male with the better stats now unfortunately we haven't gotten that yet so it takes some time all right let's try this egg give me something good to eat uh, there we go and that's a level one so it is not what we want so it's going to join the others on the pit of misery down there and we're just going to keep doing this until we get the higher level male come on now now this is the method that i use and you should be using in order to increase your probability of getting better mutated dinos now it does take some time unfortunately we haven't even gotten another mutation or a new male which sucks so we want that but we haven't gotten it yet so we do have three females with that increased health which we are trying to get on a male so once we get that we'll move on to the next step of this where you're actually breeding for specific stats but for right now we're just continuing to breed in order to get access to a male with the higher stats so that way we can breed better i know that sounds weird but oh well so these are additional females we don't need them at this moment in time so they're going to join their friends down the hill i'm going to have so many dodos down there by the time this is over and we are well on our way towards creating ourselves a super dino it's just we're not quite there yet all right so we have a new egg let's see if i get lucky this was from a level five so there is a chance that we get the better stats 55 percent hey is it a male it's another female so we're gonna add it though to our little pile here behavior disable wandering behavior enable mating and unfollow so it i'll just show you the stats on it real quick i know it's a level five so i know it pulled the health stat just like you see there four points in the health and uh, it's a female though so it's not quite what we want for the replacement this one is ready to mate but not close enough come on now there now she's ready to mate okay so level one female uh this one does not have the egg that we need so at this point we have the females we want at level five with our stats so i'm going to toss that level one out the door all right let's see if we can get lucky here so we got a level one female that i don't want and a level one male that is not higher so he's gone so we are just waiting still now let's talk about a little bit more now dino stats also change so dodos happen to be perfect because they have all seven of the stats but keep in mind that your imprint will increase them so do not be fooled by your imprint because if you imprint onto a dino it's going to increase all of its overall stats so that's not fair you were only basing this on base, base stats no imprint no anything so keep in mind that now there is a 55 percent chance that we get the better stats and but there is only a three percent chance of a new mutation i don't know how we got a double mutation to start off this round but it's kind of unique so plus one on the mutation counter um, because each side had one and it leaves us with a total of two mutations on the maternal side which gives us dodos that look like this in our lineage now you're noticing that we're starting to add generations because we haven't gotten a new mutation at this point in time we haven't really changed anything now i have also heard that if you add a new wild dino into the mix you're guaranteed a mutation i have yet to prove that because i've done it many times and it hasn't ever actually happened for me so let's come on give us a male okay level five that's the that's another female okay and we know what to do with these guys because well they're not what we're looking for Breeding an arc has nothing to do with being nice to your dinos. It has, you basically have to be a savage. So, all right, let's drop all that stuff. It looks like we have some more fertilized eggs. Perfect, three more. Let's see if we can get lucky and get a new male for us. Okay, that is a level one. It is not what we want. I'm gonna toss it over the edge. Let's go ahead and go with this again. This is a level one. It is not what we want. Tossing it over the edge. We are getting very unlucky with our stats right now. Level three, that is a new mutation. So we get to hold the phone on this guy. We have a new male mutation. Beautiful. So behavior, disable wandering. Now let's go ahead and check his stats. 
So we have a new male breeder. He does not, oh boy, perfect. So he does not have the health stat that we're looking for, but here's the thing. He is better than our other male, so we're gonna replace him. And he has a mutation in his food. So let's go ahead and look at his stats. We have all that. We have a random mutation. Oh, from two level ones again. So this isn't even from our other five and one breeders. So we're going to go ahead and put him down and we're going to replace this old male because he is no longer our best. I want you to compare these just to show you what I'm talking about. We have a level one and a level three. So we're going to take the level one, throw him where we know to throw these things best. And we're going to replace him with our new level three in there. So our level three is now going to breed with these things. It looks like I have a new egg over here. Now, this is where we make a decision, because if this egg happens to be a male, and of course it's going to be. Nope, it's a female. Don't want it. See ya. All right, so uh, we're just going to keep tossing this other stuff off the edge for the time being. We have our male in the middle. It is higher than our last male, so it is our new alpha male. And we have our females around the outside. Now, our females do not have more than 20 mutations. As long as they have less than 20, it does not matter a lot of people are like well if they need zero they do not need zero okay that's just a fact they do not need zero mutations if we have less than 20 mutations they can technically have a new mutation so we have our mutated male which is a level three male and our level three male is going to be hopefully giving us some decent chance of good offspring oh man these guys aren't very close there we go I gotta rotate these things so they're all breeding again perfect so level three male, level five females now, we are guaranteed to not have a level one eggs. So let's hope that that is the case. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these again. I don't need this anymore either. All right, so I know this is a long video, but hopefully you're keeping up with how we do these mutations. So we've got mutations for the male now, and he is going to give his stats more commonly to the other eggs. So we are increasing slowly the level of our dinosaur. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say we're going to get rid of these guys for the time being because we've already created ourselves a, a monster of a situation right here. Goodbye. Okay. So please give us eggs. We are getting close. Please, 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 please throw this feces away all right so we have a level three male and here comes some more eggs for us we have two fertilized eggs from a level five female and a level three male let's toss this one down Ooh, level seven perfect we may have gotten a double mutation there or gotten everything we wanted disable wandering let's go over here toss this guy oh there's the level one i knew it was going to happen so there is a small chance that you can get a roll of his health and not a roll of his, um, what's it called? Food, which gives you a level one egg in that situation. All right, level seven. So what this thing is going to have is this is going to be our new alpha female. Now check out why, because it has, oh, it got a new mutation. So it has two points in oxygen. So we actually got a new mutation on this one. Now let's talk about why. We have a mutation in the health and we have a mutation in oxygen. So we have level seven because it is increasing its overall point value. So that's why we have a higher level right now. And I'm okay putting this thing into the mix because it's still less than 20 mutations. And I'll show you that by showing you the stats, but you're seeing it starting to pile up because we have two on this side, two on this side. We are only, you only get up to 20 before you have to have zero, zero on some side. All right, so we have two fertilized eggs, three fertilized eggs. Let's check out our things here. All right, level five. Please be a male. It is a male. Now we got to make a decision, okay? Behavior, disable wandering. Just in case, we're going to hatch these other two real quick. Okay, level three, level three, level three. Ooh, level seven. Level seven, male. Okay, so this is good. Now let's talk about what we're doing right now. Behavior, disable, wandering. And we're gonna t throw these over the edge because I don't, I don't even care at them at the moment. I can show you why. Let's bring them over there just in case. Behavior, disable, wandering. Oh boy, this is getting chaotic really quick. Okay, boop, see ya. Boop, 
I'm going to have so many dodos dying eventually when something finds them and gets lucky. All right, so let's talk about this. So they're breeding over there. We're going to pull this guy out of the middle. Let's talk about why here. Buddy, I'm sorry. You are no longer our best male. So we have three males and a female now. That is unusual. So level three female. Let's see what we have the mutation in. So we got two into food. Now this is where we get interesting. I'll talk about that in a second. So here are our three males. We want to choose the alpha of these three. So look at their stats. We have two into food for him. Four health, two food. Two health, two food. So this is technically another mutation. We're going to avoid him though. So we're going to choose the best of these three. Now obviously we're not going to choose this one because it only has one mutation in food. We're going to say this guy's our best and this is our second best. But because this one is better than these two by multiple points, we know what to do with these two. And we this is now our new male alpha breeder. The reason it's our male alpha breeder, pretty simple. You're looking at it right now. It has health, it has food, so it is our best overall dodo. Let's say our dodo, we are looking for health now at this moment in time. I'm not even gonna pop these eggs because if we're looking for health, nothing good can come from having these eggs. So they're gonna join our dodo friends down the cliff by eggs. So our new male, this is our new alpha breeder male. So we have him, we're gonna toss him in the middle and we're gonna let him breed, enable mating. Come on, stay still. Okay. Need to make sure all the females are able to be in range. Okay, we have our alpha male. This is a level one female. We can use this because it's zero, zero across the board and she will eventually get the male stats, but it doesn't matter for right now. Let's talk about this. This is interesting. So this is a level three female with the two in the food. We can add her to our list, but she doesn't have any of the stats that we want. But because she's a female and she does not have more than 20 and 20 on either side, she's got three and three. We can add her back to our list because she will still have the ability to produce any offspring that might have a mutation. So, all right, now we're getting somewhere. We started off with level ones. We are at level sevens and fives right now, and we still have the ability to have more mutations on both sides. Now, because we do have a higher level male in the middle, he will give his stats more commonly to the offspring. So we are going to have two separate piles. Now this is where the thing gets a little bit more confusing as well. These are going to represent our breeders, okay? Now, if we're getting higher level males and higher level females, we're gonna add those to our alpha spot. Now the reason we have an alpha spot over here and a breeder base spot over here is because these are the ones we're using exclusively for breeding and then we have our set our stats that are ready to go and we can pump out more of those eggs to actually use these eggs are just used to be either give us mutations or die i know that sounds bad but that's kind of how this process ends up going you start off with two you end up breeding them together a whole bunch you end up where we're at right now you have a breeder male and a bunch of females and then now we're starting to get stats we like so we're going to make an alpha spot over here again. When we have alpha males and alpha females, we'll add them to this pile. So we have guaranteed stats. Now that's that's where we're going with this. So hopefully you're starting to see what we're doing here. This, this madness method is actually coming to a, a point. Did we just have another egg? No, I thought I heard one. Okay, yes, we did. Okay, now we've got five eggs, all right? We're going to hatch them slowly so I don't have the same thing that just happened. We have a level seven. This is perfect. Level seven female, disable wandering. We're gonna put her over here for a second, unfollow. Let's see this. Level seven, perfect. Level seven female over here. Behavior, disable wandering, there you go. All right, now here, level seven. Behavior, disable wandering, it's another female, not a big deal, okay? Get this, level five, okay. Behavior, disable wandering, it's a female. My goodness, we're getting lucky with the females. All right, normally I'd be stoked about this, but because we're looking for an alpha male, this is a pro, ooh, hello, that's an interesting color. Another female, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating our alpha pile. Do we have any of these that have our best stats? So like this one right here, we have our best stats. I want to use that as a future breeder. 
Now, because we still haven't passed 20, we could take any of these and put them back into our breeder pile. But here's another alpha female. Let's talk about this one right here. This is a alpha female, perfect. This is a lower level one, level five. It does have our four health, but it's not what we want. Either add it to the breeder pile or throw it away. So the reason we have our alpha pile and our regular pile at this point in time is because once we get a male, we'll be able to guarantee the stats we have because 100% chance that they'll roll the stats that we need. Let's go to our breeder pile over here. We have one more egg. Let's see if we get a mutation on it or a male or level ones. Lovely. Okay, so we don't want these. Those are bad because there still must be a level one in there somewhere. All right, now let's pick up the egg. We got three more fertilized eggs and let's keep this process going. Level five, okay. What are you, a female? It is not an alpha female, so we're not going to put it in our alpha pile. It could be put back in the breeder pile, but to avoid confusion, I'm throwing it. All right, level seven twins. This could be awesome. Could be is the keyword. Ah, ha, ha, now we have what, what I'm looking for, disabled wandering. There we go. Both of these are males. Behavior disabled wandering. Perfect, 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 perfect. So both of these are the same thing as our male over there. We have our health and our food on both of them. So they are both technically our alphas. So if we place one over there, the other one, we have no value for. He's gone, okay? Gone, or you can use him to ride around on on your giant dodo army of death. It's your call. So breeder pile. Alpha pile. Now let's talk about what this is. If we put these all on breeding mode, they will guarantee us the stats that they currently have because they all have four health and two food. See that? Four health, two food, four health, two food. Because it's a roll between the mother and the father for the stats, whether it rolls positive for mother or negative for mother, you are going to end up with a baby that has four health and has four food or two food. So this is our new alpha pile because we guarantee our best eggs out of these. This is the breeder pile because we don't care about the offspring at all. We really just want to get ourselves access to new, better mutations because we know what their stats are. We know that they do not have more. How do I say this properly? We know that they do not have more anything than these have yet. So those who are there are breeders and they have less than 20 mutations. This is a level five. At this point, we can guarantee that we don't need them anymore because we know their stats. So we are just gonna throw them off the edge, especially a level one like this, because we are only caring right now about getting mutations. So level seven, and he is a possibility of having a mutation. It's uncommon though. Who's got purple feet? Maybe he does. Nope, we're okay. We have the four and the two. He does have purple feet though, so that's pretty cool. I haven't looked at the other feats, I suppose. Okay, so we have another male right here, behavior, disabled wandering. Let's check out his stats. He has four health, so he is another one of those ones you just add to your pile of useless. And we go back over here, we have six fertilized dodo eggs now, and we're, now we're cooking. Level seven, I am going to assume this is not one that we need. We have to check the stats technically on it though. I don't see any color mutations, so it's probably not changed at all. Okay. This is another female, but it's a level seven female. If we really wanted to, we could add this to our little mix over here and pretty much guarantee that we're gonna have access to eggs that are better now. I'm gonna toss her down. We're gonna toss this down, next egg, level five. Don't care about it. Gosh, I wanna know how many stinking things I have down there. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you were following me. Thank you for caring, but I need you to breed right now. All right, let's see if we can get another mutation, huh? Level nine. Now we're talking. Look at this. This is, oh, and it's a male. Happy day. Okay. So first and foremost, we're going to take him level seven. Gone. See ya. You're no longer useful for us. We have a new alpha male. See the green wings? That means you're guaranteed some form of mutation. And we know his level is higher, so he is going to have a mutation. Perfect. Now it's not in the stat we're looking for for health, but he still has less than 20 mutations on each side, only three on each side. 
and he's got green wings, which I like, so I'm going to put him in our line. Now we have a chance of having three different mutated stats. Oxygen, which is useless, mind you, but it's a stat. Three or two into food and then four into health. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw him into our breeding pile. Behavior, enable mating on him. And he is perfectly stuck, so he's still going to breed with all them. Now we have our new breeder male, which increases our chance. These are no longer useful over here, so we can throw them away. Our alpha pile has been reset because now we have a better stat combination so we throw them away so we're going to keep going down this list maybe one or two more mutations and i'm hoping you're starting to understand the process that i'm going down right now because we are starting to get some cool looking dodos from the beginning level one dodo i'm just going to hatch these two just because sometimes you get double lucky nope level five and a level seven not what i'm looking for see ya what the heck all right, boom, gone. Now, at this point, we don't really need to talk about this because I just went over this method, but we're gonna toss them over the edge. Whoop, I've gotten good at dodo ball, so that's why I'm able to just like Kobe these things off the edge. All right, let's do this. See ya. Got him. All right, so now our level nine breeder who has green wings, which is really awesome. I love that color combination, that, that black and green. Cool. Represents my color, so that's what I'm talking about. All right, so we don't need any of this. Going to toss it to the side. And now we are going to get a set of new breeding dinosaurs, which is awesome. We have guaranteed stats because I think all of them... Oh, we have a level one female in there. That's why we're getting level one eggs. So you can keep that level one once you get above 20 mutations, but because we're not above 20 mutations yet, we want to encourage our chance of getting good stats. So that's why. Now, a couple more quick things while we wait for this. When you get a mutation, just a reminder, the level is going to go up two on the counter. You're going to add one mutation to the counter. And if, for example, we have like three on the left side and three on the right side, if I get another mutation, it's going to go up to four on whichever side it comes from. So that's just a reminder. So we have four eggs, five eggs. Let's see if we can get some new alphas. Level seven. I do not believe this is going to have what we need. It's a female. We know it's not a high enough level to have all the stats. So it's, it's gone. It's gone. That's just what it is. This is a brutal process, but it's how it works. All right. Another level seven, not an alpha, not a breeder gone all right another egg too hot i'm like inches away game come on now okay level seven not an alpha not a breeder gone let's try this again level seven not an alpha not a breeder gone it's even a male so we guarantee that it's gone check this out all right next up level seven not an alpha, but it's a female, so I might just add this to our list just because, you know, we have some level fives in there that I'd like to replace. Behavior disable wandering. And because it's less than 20, it does not matter. Enable mating on it. Is it close enough? It is not close enough. Not close enough. Be close enough. Thank you. All right, so now is where you start to readdress your females and male situation. We know that we want to get higher stats. The fives are technically they do have the stat we're looking for with the health but they do not have the best stats which is not a huge deal as long as you don't care about throwing some away every now and then because you'll see we only have two mutations on one side so both sides can still provide us with a mutation now our goal is inevitably to end up like this where you've got hundreds of points into each side but oops wrong button but uh, because we have hundreds of points into each side, that means lots and lots of breeding like this throughout the time. Now, a couple more things. If you are an official, what you're gonna notice, sorry, I'm adjusting myself here. Um, if you are an official, if your level is higher than 450 at any point in time, your dino poofs into non-existence. So this is why breeding like this is a good thing because if you breed a level 450 dino, okay, with a level one dino, this is important and you can manage to get the stats you want. Let's say you're only looking for health. You will drop its level down based on the stats that it gets. So we got a bunch of eggs here. Now you're noticing that the levels are starting to change. Let me back up and kind of explain that again. 
If you have a level 450 dino and you breed it with a level 1, and you get the health stat, let's say, you can still have the health. It'll have a half the levels if you drop, because the level 1 is going to bring its overall levels down to the bottom, which is a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. All right, level 7. Not what we're looking for still, but it is a female, so we're going to go ahead and take this female, and we're going to place her over here, behavior, disable, wandering, and we're going to place her for a level 5. Okay, we just want better mutation probability now. Okay, let's see here. Too hot? Still? Okay, fine. Let's keep doing this. Level nine, beautiful, 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 beautiful. We have ourselves a new behavior, disabled wandering, a new alpha area breeder, because he's got the four, two, and two that we're looking for. So he's gonna go over there. If we can get some alpha females, we now have guaranteed stats. Nope, level seven. Not what we're looking for. Bye. And it is important to throw them away because you will get tempted to keep them. So we did get green on this one, which is cool, but not the stats we're looking for. Bye-bye. So sometimes you will get a stat roll that is a mutation in a stat, but we're we're keying in on specific stats at this moment in time, so we don't care. All right, let's try this last one here. Level nine, beautiful. This is what I'm talking about. Behavior, disabled wandering. Let's check his stats. 4, 2, and 2, so he is the same, but because he is not better than this one, or better than this one, it's a male, it's gone. So, we are almost ready for our next round of eggs. I'm hoping that we can get ourselves a pair of breeding females. We have breeding alphas, and then we're kind of good to go. Now, as soon as I get this next pair, so I get the breeding alphas and maybe one more mutation, I'll kind of explain to you the rest of this, and how the different methods exist, but this is the best way you can use in order to maximize the number of mutations. All right, because you're basically increasing the number of females you have, increasing the probability of the mutation, which is 3% each time. So you will, every 30 eggs, give or take, I'm going to get a mutation. All right, not what I'm looking for. So this is gone. Not what I'm looking for. Gone. Not what I'm looking for. Gone. All right. So let's see here. Let's toss down another egg for ourselves. Level seven, it is a beautiful green one, but it's not what I'm looking for, and it's a male. Gone. Come on, give me a female so I can get an alpha set. Oh, there's a chance, there's a chance. It's a female, best day ever. Behavior, disabled wandering. So, I'll toss down this one last egg just in case we get an extra one. Level nine, be a female. It, oh my goodness, this is this is amazing. So, now the reason that we have these over here, okay, let's talk about this. We now have our newest level of alpha breeders because they have the same stats, 4, 2, and 2. Four, two oh, they're different. We actually got a stamina mutation on this guy. Cool. So, we have good stats on all of these. We could combine them and get an even higher level one, but we're not increasing our health, which is what we're trying to do because they're not in the breeder line. So these are our alpha breeders because they're gonna give us the highest chance of guaranteed stats. We're gonna go ahead and breed them and show you what that looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and pull some of these guys. So we actually got a mutation over there. Just not the mutation we wanted, but we got a mutation. Let's see if we can do this again. Okay, level seven, again, not what we're looking for. It's gone. See ya. You could just end up raising a bunch of turtles this way and soak somebody's entire base with it if you wanted to. But I'm going to be nice and not soak somebody's base with my infinite number of dodos. I will go down there at the end of this video to show you what they look like down there. Level 9! Come on, baby. Level 9 female. Behavior. Disable wandering. Perfect. Right here. Behavior. Good. Unfollow. All right. So now we have ourselves another female. She has the 4022. Behavior enable mating. And we are going to slowly guarantee our stats over on that side. So we're just going to go ahead and leave these eggs be because they're not going to be any better than those over there. And I'll show you why. This is just our breeding sect over here. So it does not matter to us. We don't care about it. So we're just going to toss that over there. I'm done with the breeding explanation. I hope you guys can go back through and listen to that. I know it's a lot of stuff but you now understand how to get yourself access to the best possible eggs. Find a male alpha and breed him with all of your less than 20 females, and you will eventually get mutations. So it does happen. As you can see, I'm getting a bunch of them. 
Now this is the important part because these are all less than 20. There still is a chance of mutation on both sides and there are technically our alphas because they have the same high stats that we're looking for across the board. So these are going to give us the ones that we can go out and ride. Say we want to ride a giant dodo of death. This is the ones we want to use the eggs from. Whereas those are just breeder eggs that we kill if they're not what we're looking for. These are the ones that are our max stats at the moment. So this is a good thing. Um, a couple of things, we want to combine the stats into one dino, so technically there is a good chance that we end up with an egg that is actually an 11 right now because we have a stat that I didn't know we got a mutation in. There's a 9, but see, there's the female. Oh, there's the 11. This is beautiful. Behavior, no, no, stop, stop, stop moving. Ah, I, hate, I hate these chickens sometimes. So now we're talking. So now we have our new alpha male over here on this side because that's the female. Where's the male? There it is. So level nine is worse than the level 11. Let's talk about that. Level nine, level 11, it's probably pretty obvious he's a higher level, so he's going to have better stats. But just to show you, 4220002, 4200002. This means that this is no longer our alpha. We can add him to our rideable out in public thing. And this guy, is now our breeder behavior enable mating so he will give us a chance because he is less than 20 mutations to give us a new mutation but he is our best overall male we could put him in this pile over here but i don't want to i'm just curious as to how these things end up hatching i could just go into crazy mode and hatch all these eggs and see if we get any mutations why not let's do it all right so I don't see any mutations in any of those. There's some chances with those level nines, but there's no new colors, which is what I'm really looking for. So, interesting. And that's how things can get crazy really fast. All right, so I'm gonna go and take my admin rifle because this is angering. Stop your noise, stop your noise. Stop the noises, stop. All right, there we go, much better. So, I feel better now. So we just have our normal dodos over here, they're breeding, we'll do one last round of these guys to show you that these are the ones we're looking for, and we might get a mutation, you never know. But mutations, again, 3% probability. Some things you don't wanna do, let's talk about it. If you are only trying to breed two, a male and a female, it does not matter because you're lowering the probability of you getting a new mutation. The higher number of breeding pairs you have, the better overall chance of getting mutation you have. Another thing you don't wanna do, do not ever breed your non-highest male in with the other ones because you're lowering your overall stat pool and that's not good. Now the last thing, this is a really interesting, confusing thing, and I've saved it for last for this reason. Once you get to a huge number of mutations, you can have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of mutations on each side. It is technically possible to go negative mutations, negative one. Now that happens after you breed all of these things, I believe it's 32 times with each other. If you breed them 32 times, sister and brother mutations, 32 generations in a row, you will end because the game can only count so high with negative one mutations. Now, why is negative one a good thing? Because if you get a mutation after negative one, you end up, uh, come on, come over here. Behavior, disable wandering. You're noticing that these are our alphas now. We've got some 11s. Unfollow, there we go. All right, so hopefully you can see the process because we went from a level one chicken to a level 11 in 30 minutes. Obviously the breeding rates are increased, but we increased 11 overall points, which is amazing. I think it's 11 points. Let's check. I think it might be higher than that actually. Four, six, eight, ten 10 points. We went overall 10 points higher. So we have a 10 point increase. And that makes sense. Okay. So basically if you go to 32 combinations, you end up with a negative one mutations. Now negative one mutations is a good thing because if you get a mutation, it goes back up to zero. So you could technically reset your entire breeding line if you're willing to do 32 mutations. Now, you'd have to breed 32 times and you're looking at, if you're on an official server, let's say you're trying to breed like a giga or something like that, that's like almost a year of breeding. If you're breeding something like a dodo, it's only like two months of breeding. So it's a long time, not really useful and official, but it is technically possible. Um, 
this is this is really it guys i hope that this makes sense and i know i just it was a long video and i know that there's a lot of stuff that i said and a lot of information that i just threw at you but it's also really important to understand that if you want to get dinos that look like this over here that is how you have to do it you have to continue to breeding your best stats and having less than 20 mutations and that's pretty much the rule of thumb there's lots of different ways to do this um, I've seen people use an alpha method where you just have one alpha male constantly with like hundreds of females going up and down a line getting eggs and hoping for mutations. I've seen people do it where you basically have a pile like this that are never off of breeding and you just continue to collect eggs over time. And I've also seen people where they basically just focus on one individual stat so they throw away all the eggs that are not higher level um, stat wise and they just, you know, end up getting a bunch of health mutations over time it takes some time but you still have a three percent chance of mutation and just to show you that i'm pretty much sure we'll get a mutation on one of these at least the chance is pretty high any colors at all i don't see any mutations actually oh there's yellow wings that might actually be a mutation okay but anyways as you can see it can get annoying really fast um, we do have a couple 11s in there but there isn't a very small percentage chance of mutation so it's not going to happen every time this is not the perfect video to show you how to get a mutation every time because that's impossible unless you're cheating um, but you will get mutations over time you just have to be patient with yourself and with your dinos because there's still only technically about a three to five percent chance depending on who you ask to get a mutation and as you can see none of these got them i'm just getting lucky so that's how it works Anyways, hopefully this video helps you out, and I hope you start getting some mutations and breeding some super dinos. Alright, teach. Out.